So, there's been like a mock drought of sorts for One Piece content at large because officially today the chapter was supposed to release and the episode as well, but both One Piece episode 924 and One Piece chapter 973 have not dropped. They're of course gonna be coming, but the chapter was a bit more concerning at first because the chapter obviously there is the unofficial drops that happened a few days earlier, but there was none of that. And it was announced that Ichiro Oda was sick. So among the, I would say, the pandemic, that is the COVID-19 situation, a lot of folks were concerned, like, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, Oda's sick with, with what? What's going on with Oda? And we found out a few, like, I think the same day that it was just the common cold. So, you know, whew. Thank God for that. It was just a common cold, and Oda was actually on the verge of recovery, like either that same day or like the day after. So Oda essentially is doing fine. It was a common cold, not a big deal. But of course, you can understand the concerns considering the pandemic that is COVID-19. And then the next thing is that the AM episode that was supposed to drop, episode 924, that also did not drop last night. We were waiting for it to kind of see what was going on. No, it didn't happen. And the reason why is because it's the sports festival. So real quick, according to otakucart.com, since One Piece anime is on a two week break due to sports festival taking its slot on TV, One Piece episode 924 will be released 15th of March, 2020. You can watch the episode via Funimation Crunchyroll as well as on Fuji TV Japan at 9.30 a.m. JST. So, that is a two week break. Uh, One Piece Chapter 173 is coming out next week, obviously. It's coming out on March 8th in seven days time. Cool. And hopefully Oda's condition doesn't take a turn for the worse. Oda, because he always works up to the bone, he has to have these occasional breaks like he needs these breaks. So it's understandable, we're not surprised. For the anime, okay, fine, sports festival. I'm actually shocked, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Again, considering COVID-19, I'm really surprised that this thing is still going on because we've seen a string of events and so on across the board be canceled. Like the one that comes to mind immediately is the GDC, the Game Developers Conference. That got flat out canceled for 2020 because of the COVID-19. Things are being canceled across the board. So just, you know, stay safe, do you gotta do. But this sports festival is still going on apparently. And it's taking up the uh, Fuji TV slot for One Piece. So as, an avid Sanji fan. The raid suit. So we have to wait until the week after the 15th. So we have to wait a whole week towards the end of March to get raid suit Sanji versus page one. And I'm expecting some now toast. I'm expecting essentially a damn good episode, or at least a damn good fight between Page One and Raid Suit Sanji. It should be milk to high heaven. I was doubting a few things here or there, but then when I saw Sanji against those henchmen of Kyoshiro, then I'm like, you know what? Okay, hold on. If the henchman stuff with Sanji is getting hype, then there's a very, very, very good chance that page one in Sanji is gonna be beastly. And we're gonna see the beginnings of that in episode 124, where Sanji page one first have their clash. Now, of course, it's also the big mom stuff as well with King. And it, it, they're adding a few things, like for example, we see in the preview, big mom is hopping on a carp. Like, like what, ha, what? And it looks like big mom might somehow square up with King. But at the same time, when she hops onto the carp, she loses her balance. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe they're gonna have a better reason as to why Big Mom fell in the water, where she fell into the water because she was on the ship, she was on the carp. And because she was on the carp, then she fell into the water because the carp was, you know, shaking. So potentially, we may see a better, let's say, reasoning as to why Big Mom fell into the water, whereas the other crewmates did not. Because the other crewmates were actually on the ship, whereas she was actually on the carp. So again, the anime, I'm very confident in the Wano Country anime, cause so far it's been very, very, very damn good. And I'm actually looking forward to 
the anime doing things that the manga has not. I truly appreciated the gambling scene with Zoro and uh, Yasue. That was dope. I'm digging the overall slow pace of the anime compared to the extremely fast pace of the manga. So the anime for Wano is gonna be damn sure better than the manga. I did a video on that as well. There's gonna be a car over there somewhere. So once again, we are gonna be delaying the Raid Suit moment and the page one. King as well be delayed with Big Mom, but it's coming on the 15th. There is a One Piece route of sorts, but we should be good to go this week when it comes to the official translations for the One Piece chapter 173 that's gonna drop on Sunday, March 8th. And obviously, we are hoping that Oda's gonna be A-OK. -okay. We're gonna hope that he gets no further complications with his minor call. Again, as far as I recall, he was already on the road to recovery by the time news got out that Oda was sick. So, it's okay. Everything should be okay, everything should be good. It's just a matter of we have to wait even longer. So the delays across the board do suck, but we understand. It is what it is. So that being said, I'm going to catch you guys and gals on the flip side. Be easy. Take care.